Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial system. We have x squared plus xy equals 3 and 4y squared plus 3xy equals 1. So we're going to go ahead and solve the system, find the solutions, and then at the end, I'm going to show you a graph of these equations. So let's go ahead and get started. You probably notice the same thing that I'm going to talk about. If you add these equations up, you'll get x squared plus 4xy plus y, 4y squared equals 4. And the left-hand side looks like what? So let me rewrite it. The left-hand side of this equation looks like a perfect square, doesn't it? It is x plus 2y quantity squared equals 4. And this has two solutions. There are two numbers whose square equals 4, and those numbers are 2 and negative 2. So we're going to be looking at each case. So let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to square root both sides and get x in terms of y. And now we're going to go ahead and substitute this into our first equation. And we're going to get this quadratic equation and then find the solutions by using the quadratic formula. These are the y values. Let's go ahead and plug them in to find the x values. And these are going to be the x values for the first set, which is x equals 2 minus 2y. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other solution. x plus 2y can also be negative 2. And from here we can write x as negative 2y minus 2 and substitute into the first equation. And we get this quadratic equation. Using the quadratic formula, we get the solutions. Now by plugging in these values, we can find the x values. So those are going to be the x values. We got y values and x values, and that basically gives us all the solutions for this equation. Let's go ahead and put it all together. So these are going to be all the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow or sooner. But before we end the video, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick. These two equations have an interesting graph, and they intersect at two points. I'm only showing you one of them here, and that is this point, but the others are also visible. And this really brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video or, or another time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.